Louder. Good morning. It's day 21, Pablo Across America 2011. It's our final day. We've got a, a 65 or so mile ride into New Orleans. Uh, we have everybody from our entire crew here. Chad, our mechanic. Yeah! Yay! Yay! Woo! So he keeps us safe on the road and keeps our bikes happy. We've got Vampire Bill back here. Woo! Yeah! We've got Camille Hook. Yeah! Stunt driver. And we've got Kimmy Long right here. Yeah! He's the greatest commentator uh, in our ears about the surroundings. That's a surprisingly nice house. <laughs> <laughs> and we have Chad Moore, who's our tour manager. Yeah! camera. These guys have kept us safe and happy and uh, massaged and well fed. And once in a while they yell at us. So that's good. Um, okay, so we have two dedications today on our final day. The first one is to a little girl named Marissa who's from Wake Forest, North Carolina. She was diagnosed with ALL, leukemia in 2008. Eight. Uh, sorry, I can't see and the thing is taped to a table. Six. Six. Uh, 2000. Six, and she completed her treatment in December of 2008. She was then diagnosed with rhabdomyosarcoma in November of 2010. So she has gotten um, hit by two different cancers. She is in treatment right now. Uh, she's battled cancer for more than half of her life. Uh, she does not let it stop her from leading a normal and fun life. And so Marissa, we're going to be riding with you today with one of our uh, collective legs. With our other collective leg, we're going to be riding for, oh, so much better, I can see now, for um, an incredible little boy from Mission Viejo, California, named Tyler Blick. Tyler's dad, Steve, is our man at Oakley. He made me these amazing custom uh, Oakley sunglasses here in the color of our kit. Steve is a friend of every pro cyclist uh, of any note in the entire world because he's Oakley's man. He takes care of all the pro cyclists. He outfits all of their sponsored riders. Um, he's a cyclist. He's a cancer dad. He's been a very, very good friend to me and to many people uh, in this group today. Uh, Brian Pettit introduced me to him a couple years ago, three years ago maybe. About three years ago. And Steve, Steve, uh, we don't get to ride together as much as we'd like because he lives in a different city. Uh, we think about Tyler all the time. Uh, Steve started a, um, a website and a group called IRideForTheKids.com in honor of Tyler and all the cancer kids out there. Many pro cyclists have tagged I Ride for the Kids on their Twitters, and they take photos, and they have stickers on their bikes that say this. And just like the Pablo Foundation, part of the battle is just standing up and saying, I recognize that kids get cancer, and that we can't forget about the kids because the kids are our future. Uh, Tyler is going through treatment for leukemia. He was diagnosed on July 13, 2010. Uh, he's being treated at Rady Children's Hospital in San Diego. He has about two years of treatment left, so that's a long time. He loves Legos and Hot Wheels. That's good news because he lives right by Legoland. And uh, I'm going to come up to the camera so you can see how cool these glasses are. You can see they're like gray glasses, and they have the pink O right there. And they have prescription lenses in them because I can't see, I can't see anything. Um, so... I want to say thank you to all the riders. I want to say thank you to all the riders from week two and all the riders from week one and everybody who's donated. I personally have uh, 202 donations on my page. And if you add up all the individual donations that all of these people have gotten, uh, I haven't counted them, but I'd imagine we're over 500 individual donations. It's, it's incredible. Uh, we raised over $40,000 at the golf tournament in New Orleans yesterday. Yeah. Uh, so we are, as we stand here right now, we're, we're over $330,000 raised for the Pablo of Across America uh, eight-week uh, fund drive that we have. We're not done yet. We know that a lot of people donate on the last... Oh. Oh. That's it. I think, I think that's good. That's it. That's it. Okay. A lot of people donate on the last day. A lot of people will donate this weekend. They'll go, oh, man, I forgot. I've gotten that email for the 80th time from that guy. So if you're one of those people and you're still watching this, please go to your computer. Go to whoever's link uh, you have from this group. If you can donate a penny, or you can donate $100 or $5 or whatever. Keep in mind, it's every penny counts. That's the cliche. But also, every name that we have up on our board shows 
that we our, our army is stronger and bigger than ever before. Uh, we started in Milwaukee on some day, 21 days ago, whatever the hell that day was, October 8th. Um, if you've never ridden your bike 400 miles in a day, trust me, it's a long way to go. We're going to be in New Orleans in a few hours, and uh, we're going to end our trip with, uh, with a walk through New Orleans Children's Hospital. Neil and Wes, Wes and Neil, 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 are going are gonna to ride us into town. We're going to go through the French Quarter. We're going to go to the Joan of Arc statue, which Pablo loved. And then uh, these guys are going to take us on a couple laps around the famous Audubon Park there. Um, and then we'll be done. So, Pablo of Across America 2011, we'll see you from the road. But this is our last morning dedication. We thank you for watching. Yay! So, yeah.